Ang pangalan ko po ay Nomar Espinosa Waminal at saka I'm working as a research professor po sa Samyuk University po. Bali, more than 12 years na po ako dito sa Korea and um, yung pagdating ko po dito sa Korea was I was a missionary, yung first first time kong dating dito as missionary and I was a missionary for three years and after that meron po akong opportunity na mag-study uh, ng master's program tapos natapos ko yung master's program sa Samyuk University tapos meron pong uh, recommendation na mag-proceed sa PhD ng PhD sa Seoul National University. So bali last year 2017 natapos ko yung PhD ko po at saka after that nag-work po ako sa SNU ng one year as a postdoc researcher at saka just this this uh, this year March nag-start ako as a research professor. Wala kong plan na mag-Korea at first pero um product kasi ako ng OWA. So yung yung college ko po is natapos ko dahil sa OWA. So yung family ko was that time was um, financially challenged. So nagworry yung family ko paano it pa punta sa college. But while I was in high school, yung father ko po ay pumunta ng Saudi for two years para makabayad ng utang. Kaya pagbalik niya, hindi namin alam na yung opportunity pala yun na napunta siya sa, sa Saudi Arabia, yun palang nag-open ng door para maka pag-aral ako ng college. So, my program yung OWA dati na tawag ay Congressional Migrant Scholarship Program, yung CMWSP. So, yung father, through that, naka-apply ako ng scholarship ng OWA. And then, because of that, natapos ko yung college ko. So, ba, bilang isang papasalamat po sa Panginoon na kahit na financially challenged yung family namin, um, gusto ko pong ibigay yung one year ng buhay ko sa Panginoon as a missionary under po sa Seventh Day Adventist 1000 Missionary Movement Program. So bali yung first year ko po is nag-missionary po ko under sa 1000. Bali one year lang po yung plan ko na mag-missionary sa Korea pagkatapos bumalik ng Philippines para mag-masters ng ano biology kasi yung natapos ko sa Philippines sa Mountain View College. Mag-masters sa saka doon na mag siguro mag-explore sa Philippines sa uh, sa aking career. Pero after one year, may, meron pong doors na nag-open. So, bali, missionary ako sa isang church dati. Tapos, may, nag, may elementary school na nagkuha sa akin. So, after that, na-extend into two, two additional years. So, bali, three years po akong nag-missionary. Pagkatapos nun, sabi ko, kung palagi lang akong mag-missionary, pag-uwi ko sa Philippines, hindi na-upgrade yung education ko. Kaya after three years as a missionary, nag-decide nag po ako na mag-upgrade na aking education. So, meron pong tumulong sa akin yung principal ng school, naging adopted or yung adopted Korean mom ko ngayon. Hanggang ngayon, siya pa rin yung tinuturing Korean mom ko po. So, siya pong tumulong sa akin makapag-aral ako ng, ng master sa Korea. So, nagtapos ako ng master sa Samyuk University sa Life Science. Sabi ko naman, I, I really want to serve the Philippines, especially sa mga bulubundukin as a missionary to teach science sa mga katutubong lumad sa Mindanao kasi I'm from Cagayan de Oro City po. So gusto ko pong makatulong sa mga manubo. Yung, kasi nakapunta ako sa bukid ng one week. Nakita ko yung buhay nila. At saka, sabi ko, hindi naman sila yung walang pinag wala lang silang opportunities. Wala silang op um, exposure. Pero they were really smart. Kaya yun ang nag, nagpa-motivate sa akin na siguro pag matapos yung pag-aral ko, gusto kong bumalik sa bundok, magturo sa mga lumad sa, sa Mindanao para makapag-expose ma, ma, naman sila sa anong nasa low, sa lowlands. Kaya after ng master ko, sabi ko, uwi na ako ng Philippines, magpunta sa bundok, magturo. Pero yung Korean mom ko, sabi niya sa akin, um, why don't you take uh, go and continue your, pursue your PhD in Korea? Sabi ko, I don't need a PhD to be a missionary in the mountains pero sabi niya if you have a PhD your uh, circle of influence will be bigger so I'm glad na um, I listened to her advice kaya now I I think I, we have a better um, wider circle of influence because I listened to her advice so bali after ng mission ng masters ko I recommend ako ng professor ko na pumunta sa Seoul National University. It wasn't my dream to be at Seoul National University kasi yung sabi ko nga pumunta na ako ng Philippines. Pero sabi niya, you study because you have the potential to go to Seoul National University. So I just I just um, listened to her. 
So that's how I studied at Seoul National University. I, I finished my PhD at Seoul National University and just last year I got a degree, a PhD degree in uh, crop science and biotechnology. And I'm really happy to perhaps move, uh, make more collaborations in the Philippines. And it's a really bright future for us, our laboratory, and also probably for, with the Philippines as well. Oh, last time kung umuwi sa December last 2017, tapos umuwi ako ng New Year, Every time po ako pumunta ng Philippines, tinatanong ko po yung mga taxi drivers. Kuya, ano po yung mga changes nung umupo si President Duterte as the, Filip uh, as the Philippine President? Always positive yung uh, sagot ng mga uh, taxi drivers. And I was really happy kasi nakikita no ko naman talaga yung, yung mga streets were cleaner. And sabi ng mga taxi drivers, they were safer. Yung mga taxi drivers, marami daw dating nangungutong sa kanila or yung mga, uh, yung mga barkers na pinagsamantahan sila. Pero, that time was really safe and in our country, in Mindanao, in Cagayan de Rosa City, I could see many developments, yung mga buildings, and I could see, I can feel it, really, the build, build, build program, which has generated jobs, jobs, jobs. So I'm very happy and really proud about um, what's happening with the Philippines and the leadership of President Rodrigo Duterte. I am really, really happy and I'm really proud, um, him being the first ASEAN, or maybe international president who has come and visited uh, Korea during the uh, term of President Moon Jae-in. So I'm really, really happy and I'm really proud of our president. And I actually, it's a Filipino community in Seoul, um, within my circle of friends, we're always talking about the president. And before uh, previous administrations, parang yung mga youth, young people like me, mga millennials, we're not really into the news. We're not really into, uh, we don't care about the news about the Philippines, but after he became our president, we were like browsing the news every day for, because we, it motivates us to hear many good news from the Philippines. And like um, what others said, it makes us really proud as um, before they see the Philippines as, ah, of course, in my 12 years here, I have experienced some, of course, racial discriminations as well, but there are many good parts also, there are ups and downs. But now I can feel, I can see from my Korean friends and even non-Korean friends that they're really happy and they always say, you have a really good president. I hope our president will be like our president. So I'm really happy. I'm really uh, looking forward to seeing him um, on Sunday.